Hi, welcome to another video. So Google has launched their new Gemini 2.5 Pro model that is apparently the new best AI model. And I believe the same because it is a reasoning model that is just awesome at many tasks. And one of them is coding. The benchmarks also show the same story where it is almost like 3.5 Sonnet and even better in some cases, which is awesome. But the best part is that all this is currently free to use along with the API. Yes, Google's AI Studio gives you access to this model fully for free. You'll get 5 requests per minute. They've just done that for low request rates from users and capped them at different tiers. I hope they make it available as a proper API rather than making it heavily rate limited. I'm sure most people would like to pay for it, considering how good it is. Still, 5 requests per minute is pretty good considering that you're not being charged. Also, if you want to use this model with better rate limits, then you can use OpenRouter, which has this model for free. And the limits there are about 20 requests per minute and 200 requests per day, which means that these rate limits are better than the original free option, although it has a daily limit cap. But 20 requests per minute is quite good. Another option that apparently has no limits and is free as well is Request. Request is a provider similar to OpenRouter and they have added the 2.5 Pro experimental model there and it is free and doesn't cost any money, although they give you a $1 free credit. Since the 2.5 Pro experimental is free in itself, you won't be deducted of that credit either. From how much I've used it, I think it doesn't have a rate limit and basically makes the model free but also with no limits, which is kind of amazing to see. I'd recommend using that, but maybe if multiple people start using it, then you might encounter some errors, so obviously this is an option if it keeps working. You can go ahead and use this as well if you wish to. The model is also now state-of-the-art on AER's benchmark. Yes, it beats Claude 3.5 Sonnet with reasoning fully for free, which is kind of awesome. It scores about 73%, which is kind of insane to think about for a model by Google which was almost non-existent on the leaderboards, but now it is at the top. It's really some top-tier work for sure. That's why I thought I'd tell you guys how you can use this new model in things like Klein, Rode, and even Bolt DIY and use it as your coder for fully free. First of all, let's start with Klein. Make sure that you upgrade Klein to the latest version. Now, go to the settings and select the Gemini option here and then enter your API key that you get from AI Studio. So just put that in here. Now go ahead and select the Gemini 2.5 Pro model here. Also, I'm configuring this in the ACT mode. You may or may not want to also change the plan mode to use this model as well, so just get that set up. I've already told you about the rate limits, so keep that in mind. I think 5 requests per minute should be enough for most people. Or you can also use the OpenRouter API as well. You can just select OpenRouter here, and then set up the model with your API key, and then boom, you're good to go. The rate limits will be better here if you don't want a permanent rate limit cap, like in the AI Studio, but this will have a per day limit instead, so there's that. You can also use it via request, which has no rate limits and is free as required, so this is also great. You can just select it in here and enter your API key and then enter the model ID as Gemini 2.5 Pro as well. Now, let's test it out. This is an image cropper tool that I have for testing. Let's ask it to add an option to it that allows me to place another image over the image. This is quite complex to do, but let's see if it is able to do this or not. Once we send the prompt, you'll see that it starts working on it. Also, it is quite fast in comparison to things like Sonnet, although it won't output the thinking tokens, which means that the time to the first token may be high. Anyway, if we wait a bit, then it's now done and you can see that it did this pretty well. But let's test it out and see how well it performs. Okay, so this works pretty well. I had tried the same thing with Sonnet a bit back and its implementation wasn't as good as this in the first shot. So this is pretty amazing to see at the least. Now, many of you may also want to use it with Rode as well. And our code now also supports it officially, which means you may get better stuff with it. So just go ahead and get it upgraded to the latest version. Now go ahead and in the settings, create a new profile for it and then select Gemini as the provider and then select the Gemini 2.5 Pro model and also put in your API key over here as well. Or you can also use the open router option as well and also the request option which seems the best in the rate limit territory as of now, which is also fine. Then you can just go ahead, select the mode you want to use and use it all you want for free, which is kind of amazing. 
Now the final piece of the puzzle is Bolt DIY, as many people may want to use it. Just go to the GitHub repo and get it cloned, and then run the npm install to get it installed. Or if you already have that, then just get it updated with the git pull command as well. Then just run it and over here, go ahead and in the model settings, select the Gemini option, and then select the Gemini 2.5 Pro option accordingly. Once that's done, we can start using it. You can also use it via Open Router if you wish to do that as well. For request, you'll need to go to the settings and in the local provider option, set up the OpenAI like option with the API base URL of request, along with the model name and API key. And then you could use that as well. Anyway, let's try to build something with it. Let's ask it to make me a playable synth keyboard. Once we send it, you'll see that it starts working on it. Let's wait a bit for it to finish, and it's now done. You can see that this looks pretty good, and the sounds are also great, so this is kind of amazing for sure. That's majorly what you would want to use. Also, some people use Aider, and Aider also now supports it officially, and it's the state-of-the-art model there. So you can go ahead and upgrade Aider to the latest version, and then just export your Gemini API key, and then just start it with the new model, and you are good to go. That's majorly how you can use this new model with all kinds of AI coders. You can use whatever you want, and it's free, which is what is awesome. The 5 requests per limit is pretty good, as mostly you'd want that. And you can just wait a bit. It's really great for sure. Make sure that you give this a try and use it all you want. I really like how this new model has turned out and I just hope that it comes out of experimental and we could use it in production with better rate limits. This model is great for coding and better than 3.5 Sonnet, at least for me. And I can't believe that Google has finally delivered a model that is this good and now at the top. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.